Hey everybody, welcome to the Modus Launcher. This is the first video covering the Modus Launcher. In this video and several others, we will be covering each part of the launcher, including how to draw a floor plan, how to open VR, how to export line drawings, how to capture screenshots, and more. We've posted links to each of the other Modus Launcher videos in the description below. In this first video, we'll be covering the basics of the Modus Launcher, including each tab on the left. All right, let's start with the Home tab. In the Quick Start section of the Home tab is an option to launch Modus VR, which will take you to the default room. There are also options to join an existing computer already in VR, or to join a support session with us. It's important when joining two computers together in VR that they are on the same version of Modus. You can check the version number in the top left under your account name. If you find they are on different version numbers, it probably means one or both computers need to be updated to the newest version. If a computer is behind the latest version, a new release download link will appear here at the bottom. Also in the Quick Start section of the Home tab are Launch Settings. Here you can choose to launch a computer in Restricted Controls by default. Restricted controls only allow the user to teleport and point a laser. This is especially useful if you have a dedicated client computer and don't want them to have to worry about accidentally moving objects, opening menus, or getting distracted. Also in the Home tab is a recent work and a latest news section. This section only gives the highlights of the most recent Modus updates. We go into more detail for each release in our blog. You can access the entire blog in the link in the top right, or you can go directly to a release post in the more details link here. All right, the second tab on the left is the Files tab. This tab works very much like the file organization on your Windows computer. On the left here are all the folders in your main directory with the files in the selected folder appearing at the right. You can also find the file path here with options to go back forward or to the parent folder. Just as a quick side note, you can click the Open File Explorer button here to find these files on your computer. All of your Modus files are located under Documents, Modus VR, then your Modus username here. In this second section is where you can create new spaces and new folders. We will be covering how to create spaces in more depth in the Modus Launcher Floor Plan Editor videos. Along with the file organization, we've built in different comfort features that allow for better organization and file management. For example, you can switch between grid and list views here. You can also right click on a file and rename, delete, copy, cut, or paste that file. Then there are different ways to select, move, and edit files and groups. You can click and drag to select multiple files. You can also hold shift to select files and arrange or you can hold down control and select individual files. Okay, the last thing I wanna mention in the Files tab is when you select any file, you'll have different options on the right. So for example, if you select an image file or a PDF, you'll be able to open it directly from Modus. If you select a .space file, which are the VR room files, you'll have the option to open in VR, open in Modus Photo, edit the floor plan, or create line drawings. These last three features here will be covered in later Modus Launcher videos. Now for the last two tabs, which are the Settings tab and the Help tab. In the Settings tab is the Restricted Controls, which we mentioned earlier. The other setting you can change refers to settings on exported line drawings. Here you can change page size or input company information that will appear on exports. The last tab, the Help tab, contains all of our tutorial videos.